a song here in Whitehorse, and it's got a really uh, solid drum beat that's really easy to learn, and also some lyrics that we've written. We've got an audio recorder that's also a video camera, and it's gonna be traveling across the circumpolar north to all the various contingents, and each place is gonna take the camera and uh, grab a little bit of video and some audio, and also take a crack at singing some of the lyrics to the song, and uh, we're gonna take it all, remix it back together, and that's gonna be our final theme song and our video, and it's gonna incorporate all these various people from across the circumpolar north. What's amazing about the song relay is that it starts out as basically the framework of a say a building. You put up your you put up your frame and it's being filled right now and it's it's being plastered and all the, the contents of it are being filled. And so at the end we don't know what it's gonna sound like. We don't know what it's gonna look like. And that's the beauty of it. It's pieces of culture and identity from across the circumpolar north. It's our way of celebrating the Circumpolar North. It's our way of connecting all the participating regions. It gives people a chance to think about the games before the games get here. Um, I think all too often people think about the sporting aspect of the games prior to the games, but they don't often think about the cultural aspect and the teamwork aspect and the uniqueness of the North coming together. The people that are involved in the relay are the people of the Circumpolar North, of the countries and regions that are involved with the Arctic Winter Games. So that includes Alaska, the Yamalo Nenets people from Russia, the Sami people or Sami people from Scandinavia and Northern Russia, as well as Greenland. And in Canada, we have Nunavut, Nunavik, Northwest Territories. And then, a little down below north of 60, we have Northern Alberta. <laughs> It's taking place right now, uh, currently, so it's been traveling since March um, 4th, 2011, and so it'll end March 4th, 2012, so throughout the year, and we'll be coming back into the Yukon in January, but has been traveling through all of the contingents across the Circumpolar North. I think the pivotal moment is gonna be when you know we get everything back here in Whitehorse, um, we cut this whole video together, we get all the, the songs and samples um, you know, put together, and then uh, we're actually gonna showcase it at the opening ceremonies of the Arctic Winter Games. It's gonna be really cool. We'll have all the athletes from the different contingents there, and we're, we're gonna get everybody to sing this song while we're showcasing the incredible journey that this um, you know, piece of art has had. It's just about fun, it's about music, it's about culture, and it's about getting back to the basics of it all, which is what the Arctic Winter Games are all about. I think the athletes will appreciate seeing uh, their hometown and their people on the screen at the opening ceremonies. I think they'll like that.